House impeachment managers, meantime, wrapped up their case against former President Donald Trump today, warning that he could incite more violence. He would have incited more violence if given the chance. Our Tim Blotz joins us now. So, Tim, after laying out a pretty powerful timeline of events yesterday, today it looks like they're trying to establish cause. Yes, yeah, specifically, Amy, what many in the mob believe that they were acting on direct orders from the president himself. Now, the impeachment case managers again used the president's own words and specific video clips of those who broke into the Capitol on January 6th. One of those clips shows protesters ransacking an office and joking about calling the White House. Let's call Trump, yes! <laughs> dude, dude, let, let, let's tell Trump what's up. Trump would be very upset. And he'd be like, no, just say we love him. We love you, bro. No, he'll be happy. What do you mean? We're fighting for Trump. Even after the attack, the insurrectionists made clear to law enforcement that they were just following President Trump's orders. They didn't shy away from their crimes because they thought they were following orders from the commander in chief and so they would not be punished. They were wrong. Well, the House managers tried establishing how the former president did nothing to condemn the attack on the Capitol and had no remorse. Representative Ted Lieu said that two is an important factor for the president's conviction. You know, I'm not afraid of Donald Trump running again in four years. I'm afraid he's going to run again and lose because he can do this again. Now, the House managers wrapped up their lead case today with manager Jamie Raskin returning to what he believes the president's chief defense will be starting tomorrow and that his role in inciting the mob was protected free speech. Raskin? who is a constitutional law professor, noted that there is no First Amendment protection for inciting a riot. The president's team now takes over, and their arguments begin at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Kelsey? All right. Thank you, Tim.